Hello, and welcome to the next vi build video for the Nintendo Labo VR goggles. Now, this the next thing I'm going to build is a little bit, a little bit of a smaller creation, like a, an addition to the actual goggles right here. Just a little add-on. So, let's go, let's go ahead and see what it is. Now again, I, I only purchased the starter set, so that only includes these two main creations. The goggles themselves, and then the blaster, which is a really big creation, so it takes up a whole box. But, but then there are two smaller creations in addition to that. There's this tiny little thing, which I'm not sure what it is yet. But there's also the pinwheel, which is what I'm going to build right now. And again, this will attach right at the very front of the normal goggles. For an added effect in the gameplay. Let's start. Oh, it's actually pretty long. Oh, now I need a special parts bag. I need to punch out these pieces from sheet A. Okay, everything's punched out. And this is just a guess, but I think we'll only need the marker stickers from the extras bag. Let's go. Start with the actual pinwheel. You need to make sure it's all lined up right, um, and you're, you're, you're holding it right, because this side has the buttons on it, this side doesn't have any markings, so. Boop. Just one little fold there. Oh, that's wrong. You need washer and grommet. And... That is in there. Fold it over. Now it's washer time. Things are about to get snappy. When you snap the washer down, that is... That's a little grommet humor. The two halves of the eyelet snap together like this. Only when you hear that satisfying snap, that's when it's right. There, it's already spinning. Okay, little washer, if I let you snap on your grandma friend, will you promise to stay all nice and tight? Always, as, as always, you can use a coin to pop off the grandma washer. Yep, marker stickers. Okay, we're on this side. Then we need to put stickers on all these blades. On the front and back. There we go. The sticker parts are always self-explanatory, so I like to just skip past them and fast forward them. Looks like a fish. There you go. Yeah, make sure the eye lines up. Until his mouth hits the edge, then help turn the corner and slide all the way in. That's one hungry fish. Yeah, fishy has to be all the way in as far as it can go. Same thing for the other ones. Let's call it Flappy.
There we go. Let's call this one Flow. There we go. Yeah, the, the, the dots are all lined up. Okay, more punching out. Okay, that was quick, pretty quick, quick punching out since we only have three things. Oh, these, these blades don't need any marker stickers, so we're just going to be putting them on like we did with the others. Another fish. This is called Finny. Are you ready to meet your fish siblings? Now this is Flippy. Nice and snug in your new home. Phil's last fish. There. There's still a little bit to do. The actual connector is pretty big, but it should be easy. Okay, more punching out. Okay, I finished punching out. But yeah, this is a really thin and meticulous piece with lots of different e um, small edges. So you have to be careful to get these ones out. Yeah, there are always some, there are always some weird, um, weird in inward tabs that you're not supposed to fold during the initial folding process. This is a weird fold, so the tab goes outward like that, yeah. Okay, now we're done with the pre-folding. That was a long, that was a lot of little tiny intricate steps there. Then I fold out the wings so the little tabs that we, we were supposed to not fold earlier are now sticking in. Legs are just resting there. Okay, this one little step here. There, that holds the whole thing together. This is a very um curved piece here. That was hard to hold together like that. That looks pretty good now. That, everything should be straightened out now. It's still a really weirdly complicated piece. It looks like a person doing a handstand. I wonder what all these tabs are for. I mean, it's just a pinwheel, right?
Now this is a really thin piece that the, the cardboard just sort of sitting in there. It's not like a normal tab. It's so thin it can't be a normal tab. So I think that's it. The connector is complete. Now stick on the spinny blades. Dots facing out. There. I think it's on. If they don't fall off, then you're set. Okay, it's a little wobbly, but I think it's okay. Which means... Yes, that works! Wow! It's done! There we go. Now would be a good time for a drink of water and stretch. But this is, this is just attaching the Joy-Con. Let's see how we attach it. Safety cap. Um, I think I figured this out. I think this will attach right into those weird markings that we saw earlier. But we had no idea what they were for. The spinning blades are facing down. There. Now we'll connect the pinwheel with safety cap, a winning combination. Whee! Okay. There. Now we're going to actually put the Joy-Con inside. There we go. Now let's try attaching it to the actual goggles. Oh, make sure the lips are where they're supposed to be. There. That's good. Now you can't set this down normally then, because the pinwheel's sort of sticking down there. Headley McHedgen will help us demonstrate how everything works. Okay. Okay, so here's how to use the pinwheel. You hold up your face like this, like you would normally hold up the goggles, and then you blow into it like this. It works pretty well, no matter how you hold it. And with that, the Toy Con Pinwheel is complete! Take it away, Pinwheel! Now again, I can't really exactly film the VR mode, um, so I'll just show you the build videos, and I guess I'll find a way to explain all the actual games and how they work. But with that, see you next time. Thanks for watching.